Come on guys, hey, this is Chan here with True AP. Uh, again, today's live workout, we will be going through quickness and agility, right? So, uh, change of direction here. Um, before we start here, uh, we want to go through a little bit of some uh, prep work. So, grab this foam roller right here, all right? I'm uh, gonna go through a quick foam rolling routine, um, but real quick before we do that, I'm gonna go over some uh, stuff you'll need today. So all you really need, all right, is just gonna be some space, uh, whether you're in the basement living room or if you are able to go outside, uh, and also some water bottles or uh, some cones if you have them. We'll be using cones, but uh, if you just have some water bottles at home or whatever object, all right, to kind of put as a marker, all right, um, that'll do. So get yeah, started with some foam rolling here. Uh, start out, cap, right side, and get that blood flowing. Again, uh, I know some people like to go both legs here, but uh, my preference is I like to go single leg, uh, control the amount of pressure I'm putting down. And like always, if you guys are interested in our foam rolling um, routine, uh, you guys can check out our website and we'll have a cheat sheet, foam rolling cheat sheet, full body, all right, um, there for you. Okay, go on to that left leg, starting with the hamstring. And moving down to that calf. If you guys have any questions, right, just put it in the comments below. Uh, we'll try to answer questions as we go along through the session. Um, if there's anything that you guys would like to see uh, as far as more focus on acceleration, quickness, or uh, power, whatever it is, then leave it in the comments below and then we'll try to uh, um, kind of get our sessions geared towards your uh, preferences there too. Okay, go to those quads. So open that right leg. We're gonna go all the way to the hip and then right above the knee. Feel somewhere that you feel like a uh, super sore or like a knot anywhere, you make sure we stay on there. I'll go over it a few times. Onto the left leg. Good, all right. Uh, let's get those glutes. All right, so starting with that right glute. Go ahead. Cross that right leg over, leaning a little bit more toward that right side. Perfect. Left side now. Cross that left leg over, leaning a little bit more towards that left glute. Great work. All right. Uh, so before we start. I'm gonna go over a little bit of some balance drill with you guys, all right? Uh, maybe when we are uh, changing direction and accelerating out of that cut, all right, we wanna power out off the ball of the foot, okay? So I'm gonna focus on kind of staying on that ball of the foot and getting some balance and getting us used to um, staying uh, nice and bouncy, all right? Nice and light on our feet here, okay? So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a single leg balance drill, okay? Uh, with this, uh, I don't want you guys flat footed here, Okay, we actually want to try to stay on the ball of the foot a little bit. Okay, I don't need you on your tippy toes. All right, just a little bit more pressure on the ball of the foot than the heel. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to hold. All right, come up a little bit so I can give you a side view. Okay, so you notice my heel is not on the ground. Okay, but again, I'm not at the tip top. I'm just right here in a nice stable position. Holding that balance, getting, you, getting my body used to feeling that right there. Go ahead and switch to the left leg. Place the front for you. Yeah, I want you to think about like if you were doing jump ropes, right? We want to stay nice and light on our feet. All right. Stay on that ball of the foot. Perfect. Going one more to that right leg. Hold for a few seconds. Keep that balance. If you have trouble balancing, uh, try focusing in on one spot on the ground, okay, that'll kind of help you, all right, focus and keep that balance a little bit better. And left leg, remember heels off the ground, we're not on the tippy toes, but we are slightly on the ball of the foot. Perfect. 
All right, so uh, now we'll be going through the warm up. All right, so remember, start with our static stretching, uh, get into our dynamic uh, warm up and our neural activation. So we're gonna start out with a quad pull to a knee hug. So starting with that right leg, okay? Just gonna go ahead, hold for about two, three seconds, and we're gonna bring that right leg straight into a knee hug. Our toe is pointed up. Go ahead and switch to the left leg. And knee hug. Uh, back to the right leg, quad pull. And get into that knee hug. Left leg, hold, two, three. Knee hug, two, three. Good, all right, now we're gonna get into our toe scoops here. All right, let's start with that right leg. Remember, we're gonna go down nice and controlled. All right, flat back. I get a good stretch on that hamstring. Okay, so right leg first, down one, two, three, left leg, down one, two, three, back to the right leg, give me side view, one, two, three, left leg, one, two, three, one more on each, ready, down one, two, three, last one, and down one, two, three. All right, going to our leg cradle here. Remember, two days, two different ways of doing this. Okay, uh, one pull up at the shin and slight push down at the knee. All right, I'm starting with my left leg here and switch. Good. Second way is that figure four quarter squat right here. All right. This one's a little bit more challenging. It's gonna challenge your balance a little bit. And the right leg. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, one more on each. One back to our left leg. And right leg here. Perfect. All right, last one, all right, is getting uh, our side lunges. Okay, so remember, feet straight, okay? Uh, we'll keep, keep both feet flat on the ground. Stepping out to that right side first, going down onto that right leg. Remember, leg is right underneath you, hips are back. And switch. Don't move, we just shift over to the other side. Switch, hands are off the knees, chest up. I don't want you over here like this. Switch. Switch. Nice and low. Last one, switch and hold. Left side, perfect. All right, so that's our static warm up right there. Okay, now we'll be going into our dynamic warm up. All right, so Aaron will be joining us here for that. Doing guys. All right, so again today we are working on needs to change of direction. The dynamic warm, is to, warm up is going to be super uh, important for this, so let's make sure that we're moving around real well. All right, moving fast as well, okay? The faster you move, all right, the more you get your body acclimated to moving before we start really moving, all right, the better we're going to feel, okay? So, what we're going to do, Chan is going to come over here, start on this side. He's going to start with that high knee march, all right, stand on that ball of the foot, all right, again, practicing those acceleration mechanics. All right, and making sure that we have those down. Okay, so starting in place, go ahead and march in place. All right, stand the ball foot and go moving forward. Remember guys, we need about 10, 12 feet or so. All right, we don't need a whole lot here. All right, just make sure we can not move forward on these. All right, on the way back, he's adding that skip to it. All right, so we're working on that power down hard. All right, so same thing again, ready, march in place. All right, adding that skip and go. All right, A skip powering down on the way through, fantastic. All right, this time, straight leg march. Remember, this is about activating that hamstring up and down quick, keeping that nice, tall, all right, good posture, okay? All right, high knee march, or sorry, straight leg march first. Ready, go. Marching forward, stay on that ball of foot still. All right, posture still stays, stays up and down. We don't lean forward and backwards, okay? All right, on the way back, we're adding that skip up and down quick. All right, ready, and go. We like to call these the, uh, the Rockettes, right? All right, this time, high knees, all right, we're going down and then we're going backwards, working on that coordination, all right? I wanna see high knees, knees coming all the way up to at least hip height, a lot of reps, ready, go. Using the arms, a lot of reps, quick legs, good, and then going right back, there you go. A lot of reps, a lot of reps, a lot of reps, keep it going, keep it moving, good. All right, butt kick, same thing, all right? All the way down and back, getting a lot of reps in, guys, ready, and go. Good, heel all the way up. Trying to wake up that hamstring and back. 
Still using those arms, still using that good posture. Good, all right? This time, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. All right, it's gonna help us with our shuffle a little bit. This one is tough, all right? You guys really are gonna have to practice this to get good at it, all right? But we use this for all of our teams for coordination, number one, all right? And number two, okay, because it helps us learn that movement, all right, the movement that we should be using for each one of our shuffles, okay? So what we're gonna do is a side march, all right? We wanna see his big knees on both sides and really driving off of that back leg to push us out. All right, so we're starting with the march, going sideways, ready, go. Guys, this is the same thing as the march you were doing earlier, except you're pushing to the side instead of backwards. All right, there's no difference other than the pushing to the side instead of backwards. Coming back, ready, go. All right, using those arms still, knees coming up to the same height. All right, again, take your time on this. Make sure you're learning it correctly. All right, this time we're adding a skip to it. This is where it gets a little bit more difficult. Same thing as the A skip we were doing earlier. If you're driving down, now you're just driving sideways on each one trying to push out hard with that back leg to move you, okay? Same knee height every time, all right? Let's try it out, ready, skipping, and go. Push off to the side, off to the side, off to the side, all right? Same thing, coming back, ready, go. Driving off, driving off, good. All right, more than likely you guys are having a little bit of trouble with that at home, that's fine. This takes practice for that one, okay? All right, this time, going for the shuffles, okay? Shuffling out, this is gonna be our main focus today is that change of direction, so I want you guys to start, all right, on a good note. Make sure you're getting that hockey stop in. Remember, that is back leg holding the weight, front leg stopping the momentum, all right? We wanna see that hockey stop on the end. All right, nice and low, chin, down and hold, ready, go. Pushing off and hold, good, coming back, ready, go. Pushing off and hold, good, same thing again, ready, and go. Go. Good. Now we're going to add that bounce into it. We're going to bounce off, come straight back. All right. Ready. And go. Good. All right. Same thing. Chain's going to just turn around. This is what you guys should do at home as well. Turn around, back to them. All right. Same thing. Down and back. So we get the other leg. Ready. Go. Push, push, bounce, right back. Good. All right. Now, that guys, we're going to that rotational, all right? We're also gonna be doing crossovers today, all right? So we really wanna make sure that we get good rotation in the hips, all right, and core is activated. So we're going to karaoke, a lot of reps here, all right? A lot of hip turns, ready, and go. A lot of hip turns, shoulders stay facing forward. A lot of hip turns both ways, coming back. Really getting going, we're gonna go one more time on that, guys. Ready, go. All right, keep that core tight, all right? Whip those hips around. Good, coming back. Fantastic job. All right, last thing guys, that neural activation chain is gonna come join me in the middle. All right, feet together, hands up. Remember, we're dropping fast to that ready position. Okay, this is where we really wanna see, all right, good foot width here, all right? This is very important in today's session, all right, that our foot width goes to the correct place every single time we stop, all right? And then we learn exactly where that shoulder width is, all right? So we don't wanna go too wide, all right? So I wanna say drop. Chin is gonna drop down. You guys should drop down as well to that ready position as fast as you can. Ready, drop, back up, ready, drop, back up, ready, drop, back up. Good, and in rapid fire, quick feet, make sure they're actually bouncing off the ground, they're not just shaking, okay? Ready, and drop, fire. Fast feet, fast feet, get them going, relax, good, same thing again. Ready, drop, fire. Fast feet, fast feet, relax. One more time on that, ready? Drop, fire. Fast feet and relax, good. Everybody go ahead and grab a sip of water, even if you don't want one, all right? You don't need one right now. Water's gonna be fantastic and you're gonna want it by the time we're done with this first drill. All right, so let's make sure, okay, that you have some water right now, okay? So, like I said, guys, today is about change of direction, all right? Agility, if you will. We wanna be fast in just about any sport out there in changing direction. All right, there are gonna be very small things that some people, a lot of people don't notice that are slowing you down in that change of direction. All right, and if I'm faster than Chan is in my change of direction, it's gonna make that little bit of difference and I'm gonna be ahead of him, all right? It comes to soccer, I'll be ahead of him to get to the ball, all right? It comes to basketball, I'll be past him and into the lane, right? It comes to football, I'll be able to break away with, from him if I'm a wide receiver, all right, and get to the catch. Whatever it may be, all right, we want that change of direction to be as efficient as possible, all right? So that's what we're gonna go over today is a lot of things that are gonna help you, all right, with your body control, okay, and how you're gonna be moving and changing direction, okay? So this is what we're gonna do, all right? It's gonna look very similar 
to our warm-up, this is why we use the, our drills in our warm-up, all right, is so that we practice these things, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is that shuffle to hockey stop, all right? I want you guys to really work on that hockey stop. Hold it every single time you stop, all right, so that we can break down and look at exactly what we're doing wrong and what we're doing right, okay? So Chan's gonna start over here on this side. When I say go, he's going to shuffle across as fast as he can and give you that hockey stop on the other side, all right? Once he gets there, he's going to hold that position, and we're going to have to break down his form, all right, and look at what he's doing right and what he's doing wrong, okay? So, starting down nice and low, guys. Let's stay low, all right? Don't pop up in the shuffle. Stay low, all right? Ready? And go. Pushing across and hold, all right? Everybody hold. Look at your feet real quick. Are they shoulder width? All right, chains may be a little bit wide, but that's okay. It's not too bad, okay? Second thing, all right, we see both of his shins have a slight angle all right, towards that outside. That's gonna help him absorb that stop, all right, and be able to stop quicker and have more control over it, okay? All right, same thing, we're going back the other way, Chan, all right, same thing, guys, ready? And go, push, push, hold, good. Now we're gonna look at that upper body, all right? Where's the upper body leaning? He's got his weight over top of his inside leg so he doesn't have that sag towards the outside. You'll see how that's more important in a little bit, all right? But we have that inward lean right there. Good, relax, all right? Going again, guys, over the other side. Let's see that inward lean, all right? Weight over the, the back leg, if you will, all right? And then the outside foot stop, you're keeping that shoulder width, guys. Ready, and go. Push, push, hold, good. Coming back now, ready, and go. Push, push, hold, good. All right, guys, we're going one more time, down and back, all right? Let's see that good shoulder width on those stops. We're using two feet to stop us. What we don't want to see is that when you get here, you're leaning over your outside leg like this, because then it's going to make it harder to go back in that direction. We want to be using two legs to stop, not just one. Ready, and go. Push, push, hold, good. Coming back, ready, go. Push, push, hold, good. All right, so we get that control, we get that cornering in, all right, and if we're able to hit that position every single time we want to change direction, all right, we're going to be a lot more efficient. What we're ultimately trying to do today, all right, is the biggest thing for me is to eliminate that upper body, what I call sag, all right, or momentum in the wrong direction. If I want to go this way and my upper body leans out, even a little bit, it's going to slow me down and cause momentum to go this way when I'm trying to change direction to go that way. All right? So that's the biggest thing is trying to get our body into those angles and lean into that cut. Okay? So what we're going to do today, all right, next is going to be a shuffle down and back. This is where we start to get into the actual kind of step out of it, all right? So we're gonna do a shuffle down. We get here, all right? We're immediately pushing off of both legs to push us back in the other direction. And this is where you're really gonna feel that upper body sag if you are letting that happen, okay? So down and back this time, guys. Down and back, all right? Make it quick. Ready, and go. Push, push, bounce, and back. Good, I should brought your face today, huh, Chain? All right, going again, guys. All right, two feet, ready. And go, push, push, bounce, and back, good. He's ready for that one. All right, let's go one more time, everybody. If you are still wondering what's going on, let's watch his body position at that cone. Ready, nice and low, go. Bounce, bounce, good lean, and he's back, all right? All of his weight, his body weight is helping him now change direction instead of hurting him when we go to change direction. Now, this is another, what I'm gonna bring up, Chang, go ahead and come over here for me. What I'm gonna bring up now is that core, all right? This is why we do core every day, because if your core is weak and your body moves every time you change direction, all right, that's causing that negative momentum, that momentum in the wrong direction. So that's why we wanna keep our core nice and strong, all right? So same thing, going from the other side now, guys, all right, working off the other leg, all right? So moving across, bouncing off, getting both feet shoulder width, using both of them to stop us and push us out, okay? Ready, nice and low, and go, push, push, stop, and out, good, all right? Going again, guys, all right, again, make sure both feet are out, you absorb and push off hard, ready? And go, stay low, guys, stay low, that's big here, good. All right, a lot of things, uh, one, one thing that I do with a lot of my clients, all right, is I'll have a noodle, I got a pool noodle somewhere over there, okay? And I'll hold it up and I'll swing it above their head to make sure they're staying low. Guys, if you're not staying low, all right, then our upper body, our weight is gonna come out a lot easier. If you're low, all right, it's harder, all right, for that momentum, all right, or that center of gravity to push you out, okay? So stay low, please, ready. Nice and low, last one, guys, ready, go. Push, push, good bounce, 
and back. Fantastic job. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to change it up and we're going to turn into a sprint. All right, like we said, we're, we're working on a change of direction. All right, those movements right there are working on the, the really the basics of how to stop laterally. All right, and if we do that, all right, we have good control, but you're not always going to be on the field just shuffling side to side, right? That's not how sports work, right? A lot of times it's going to be maybe a shuffle into a sprint. So this is what we're gonna work on now, okay? So this time, what's gonna happen is he's going to shuffle out and give me that good cut, all right? From here, he's pushing off of his outside leg, which needs to be bent, that's why we're low, all right? He's pushing off the outside leg and, and turning into it, into a small sprint, all right? So it'll look something like this. Starting on this side, shuffling across, getting that stop, turn, and sprint, okay? so. Working on that movement, guys, getting that quick turn. Push off the outside leg, all right, and turn. Okay, if we get too wide, that leg will be straight. We can't push off, okay? So keep those feet close, chop stay low. Yeah, give me a chop and drop at that second cone. All right, out, shuffle out, sprint back. Ready, and go! Push, 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 turn, good. Chan really likes the crossover, which we're gonna go over in a second. All right, so he gave you a little bit of that right there, but again, pushing off the outside leg, point that inside leg towards where you wanna go for me. All right, ready? Go! Shuffle out, cut, turn, and sprint. Much better. All right, guys, we got one more of those on that side. Okay, same thing. Two foot stop, pressing off of that outside leg, driving that inside leg towards where we want to go. Ready? Go! Push, push, cut, turn, and small sprint. Good. All right, Chan, go ahead and drill me over here on this side. We're going to do the same thing, guys, on the other leg. Shuffling out, good hockey stop. All right, and pushing off that outside leg. So again, all right, what some of you guys may be missing right now, when we go to stop here, if our leg is too straight, there's no actual push off of that leg. We can't push you anywhere. But if that leg is bent because you're low, you're able to actually push yourself harder to get into that direction, okay? So let's make sure we sit the hips down, we stay nice and low, keep those knees bent, feet are shoulder width, okay? Shuffling out, cut, push back off to the other side. Ready, nice and low, and go. Good, all right? Same thing again, guys, all right? Remember those feet shoulder width? He's getting a little wide right now. I don't know if you guys are noticing it. it. Might be because he's afraid to lose grip. We can change. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit, all right? Same thing again, guys. Nice and low, ready, go! Good. Hopefully you guys are in uh, cleats, right? Out in your yard, that'd be the best thing right now, okay? All right, one more time. Let's go one more, shuffle out, all right? Hockey stop, push off that outside leg, drive that inside leg towards the next cone. Ready? Go! Push, push, good stop, and drive it back over. Fantastic job. Now, guys, like I said, all right, we're not always going to be a shuffle, okay? It is, uh, it's a good movement to have, especially a defensive move, all right? But to be a little bit faster, what we want to do is we want to do a crossover. Now, this is a little bit more advanced, all right? So some of you guys, this might be either new to you or difficult for you to do correctly, all right? But this is something great that you can practice slower, all right, and make sure you're doing correctly first, okay? So make sure if you're messing this up or it doesn't feel right, all right, you watch video, okay? You video yourself in your time, all right? And make sure that you are doing it correctly first, then adding good speed to it, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a crossover out, all right, and get into that hockey stop. So what we wanna see, all right, as we're starting here, we're actually pushing off of this inside leg now instead of the outside leg, all right? And we're crossing our back leg over for that cross step and then getting into our hockey stop. All right, so it's gonna be quick. We wanna see that back leg drive over fast, all right, and get that hockey stop on the other side, okay? Knee drives across the body, all right? So cross step over, hockey stop on the other side. Nice and low, guys, ready? Go! Cross, cross, and good cut on the other side. Guys, the hockey stop is exactly the same, all right? Make sure one foot in, all right? Outside foot comes out to slow you down, all right? Weight over one leg, outside leg stops your momentum. Same thing coming back now, all right? Left leg driving across, ready? Go! Cross, cross, and good cut, fantastic. All right, see that shin angle on the stop is what we need, guys. Going again, all right, we got two more rounds of that. Nice and low, ready, go! Good, all right? Same thing, guys, make sure that we get those hips out so that we get that angle when we stop on this side, okay? Ready, and go! Cross fast, good cut, both feet out, fantastic. One more time, out and back. Ready, go, cross, cross, cut, good, reset again. All right, outside leg crossing over, ready, go. Keeping those shoulders straight, perfect, okay? 
Now we're gonna do is the same thing that we did with the shuffle. All right, is now we're gonna go down and back, all right? So it's gonna be a cross step out, and this is Chan's favorite part, all right? Because he gets to use his cross step on the way out, which yes, is gonna be a little bit quicker than uh, the back foot step, okay? So we're gonna do is a cross step out, same thing, good stop. As soon as we get there, we're doing the same move we just started with, all right, just out of the hockey stop. All right, this is where, again, it's very important to have that lean, all right, and keeping those shoulders over and the weight over that inside leg. You are gonna have more momentum on the cross step if you're doing it correctly and doing it quickly. All right, you're gonna have more momentum this way, so it's gonna be harder to control that upper body, but we wanna see that, all right, and keep that crossover going, okay? All right, so starting that ready position, good lean over that left leg, all right, cross step out, hockey stop, cross step right back. Ready, go, boom, 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 cut, and cross step back, get a sprint back. <laughs> cross step out, cross step back, guys. Same thing again. Ready? And go. Cross step out, cross step back. Good. Again, we're trying to keep the shoulders, all right, straight to one side. So if you're starting here, your shoulders are going to stay facing this way for that cross step. And cross step back, shoulders stay facing in that one direction. One more time off that side. All right, cross step hard with that knee over top. Ready? And go. Cross step out, cross step back. Good. So he's getting more momentum. It's getting harder to control that momentum on that side when you come to stop, okay? So this time, moving over to this side, we're gonna do the other leg, all right? Again, guys, biggest things here is that lean, all right? And that hockey stop, keeping those feet close. If you go too wide, your leg is straight, you're not able to get back out of it quickly, all right? And stay in, keep those feet underneath you, keep that grip on the ground, ready? And go, cross step out, cut, cross step back, good. All right, doing the same thing again, guys. All right, make sure you're planning, you stay low. Drop your hips a little bit in that cut, all right? Drop your hips more than you think you should, okay? Especially if you feel yourself falling over to that side. All right, drop your hips into it. You will find more control there. Ready, nice and low, and go. And drop the hips, and push off again. Good, we got one more, right, Chen? All right, one more, third one. All right, ready, and go. Cross step out, cut, cross step back. Fantastic, all right. This time, guys, we're going to that sprint out. This is what he was trying to jump to earlier, okay? This is gonna be a little bit easier to sprint out, all right, with that cross step. So what we're gonna do this time, all right, we're gonna start on one side, all right? We're cross-stepping out, same thing we just did. But once we get here, that back, or that outside leg, is now gonna cross-step over and help turn us into our sprint before we chop and drop again, all right? So we wanna see that smooth transition, all right? So step, hockey stop, and then pushing off the inside leg, taking that outside leg and driving it towards that next cone. All right, so same thing again, Chan. All right, Chan, let me get, get you over here on this side. Sorry, all right, cross step out, sprint back, chop and drop, ready. Nice and low, and go. Cross step out, cut, chop and drop, fantastic. All right, same thing again, guys. All right, cross step out, good hockey stop. All right, and then using that knee drive to turn you. Ready, nice and low, and go. Cross step out, cut, sprint back, good. All right, last one on this side. Okay, and then we'll move to the other side. Again, guys, lean, shoulder width. All right, I'm just gonna beat that into it. All right, ready? Go! Cross step out, cut. Ooh, ooh, lost that a little bit. So, if you guys go back and look later, all right, you'll see that on that one, his foot was a little far out, all right, a little wide. All right, when your foot goes out too wide, doesn't have enough weight pushing down on it, you'll lose that uh, grip. I've seen athletes do it even in cleats on grass fields or on turf fields, all right, is losing that grip because their foot is too far out, all right? So let's keep it under control. Chance starting on this side. Plus, we're tearing up the turf a little bit right here. If you guys notice in the video, you see all that black, all right? We're trying to loosen it up right here. Feeling good, Chan. Ready? Everybody nice and low. Cross step out. Sprint back. Ready? Go! Cross out. Good cut. Sprint back. Good lean into it. All right, great body control, okay? We got two more of those before we head on the core, guys. Almost there, ready. Nice and low, and go. Cross out, cut, sprint back, fantastic. All right, last one, guys, last one. If you've been going kind of slower at it, trying to make sure you do it correctly, let's try to speed up a little bit this time. See what you can handle, all right? Inside foot holds the weight, outside foot stops the momentum. Nice and low, ready, go. Good control, fantastic sprint. All right, guys, go ahead and grab some water real quick, Chan, you can grab your water, all right? We're gonna do is we're gonna go on to core. So if you guys need a towel, all right, or some kind of mat or something, because you're outside or you're on pavement or something like that, all right, go ahead and get that ready. Grab some water, catch your breath a little bit. So 
So guys, today we're gonna to be working on three core exercises as usual, all right? First one is going to be a crunch. Now what we wanna do on this is we're gonna do uh, two rounds of crunch, but we're gonna show you multiple different ways to do a crunch. All right, Chang, give me a regular, uh, we call it dumb crunch, right? Just a regular crunch, just up and down, that's it, all right? This is a regular crunch. Somewhat easy, you've been doing this in gym class your whole life can get hard all right but we want to make it harder uh, for our athletes to make sure that it, that you guys are being challenged well so Jane, so go ahead and lay back down again all right number one thing that you can do to make this a little bit harder is pick your feet off off the ground holding your legs up engages those abs so that even when you come down you're using that core okay in a regular crunch like he was just doing when you come back down everything relaxes a little bit we don't really want that we want to keep that core engaged all right Next, what we can do, crossing those arms and keeping those elbows high, all right, is coming up tall with it and not necessarily forward, all right? So getting that small crunch right there is gonna be much harder, all right, even in that smaller radius, all right, to do, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do 10 crunches like that. I want feet up off the ground, all right? Hands on the shoulders and we're coming straight up. All right, up and forward slightly. We're not coming all the way up to touch the knees, all right? You're coming up off the ground. Don't have to get the full uh, back off the ground. All right, we're just coming up a little bit, okay? We're going for 10, just like that. All right, ready? And go. All right, good reach. Keep that core engaged. Fantastic, good reach. Fantastic, all right? One other thing you can do is arms straight. All right, that works as well, okay? It's like you're reaching up, kind of like a toe touch. All right, toe touch is a fantastic version of the crunch. Good? All right, so another thing that we can do to make this a little bit harder, all right, is a pause. All right, now, what we want to show today, all right, is with that body control, especially change of direction, all right, we're using a lot of what we call isometric hold, and that is um, when your core holds your body still, all right, but it, it doesn't do this for your core every time you move, right? We want to be able to keep your core stable, all right, and strong, just like that, all right, without movement all the time, okay? So this time we're gonna do is we're gonna crunch up and we're gonna get a slight hold at the top, all right, before we come back down. Only about a second or two, all right, we're just adding that little bit of difficulty into it. All right, I want this time for you guys to extend your legs just a little bit, not all the way to you, there you go. All right, about half extension, good, right about there. So we have a little bit of that uh, angle on the Thigh, all right, so this time we're coming up, slight hold, then coming back down. What about one second hold? Ready? Ten of them. Ready? Up, hold, down. Good. Again. Ready? Up, hold, down. Good. Ready? Up, hold, and down. Good. Ready? Up, hold, and down. Pause real quick. If you're falling over right now because when you come up, all right, you just roll right back. All right, extend your legs a little bit more. All right, get them out a little bit farther to help counterbalance. Ready? And up. Hold and down, good, up, hold and down, up, hold and down, two more, ready, up, and down, last one, up, and down, fantastic job, guys, all right, this time we're going for a bird dog, all right, over under the hands and knees, you guys, if you guys have been following us and doing these workouts with us, you've done this before, all right, but this is a fantastic way, all right, to um, do an anti-rotation isometric hold, all right, so every time that we pick uh, the opposite arm and leg up. Go ahead and pick up right arm, left leg for me. All right, we are resisting, all right, the rotation, okay, which is what we want to do when we're changing direction as well. All right, so go ahead and come down, Chan. What we're going to do is we're going to start, all right, with right arm up, left leg up. All right, we're going three second hold. All right, we're going to do a five on either side, okay? So make sure we get the arm out nice and far, all right, and then leg out and point the toe, okay? So, everybody ready? Keep that back flat, keep that head neutral the whole time. Ready? Right arm, left leg up. One, two, three, and switch. Right leg, left arm, two, three, and switch. Right arm, left leg. A little bit of coordination in with this as well, guys. Switch. Good, keep that head neutral, and switch. This isn't the hardest thing in the world, right, because it's not a lot of movement. Switch, all right, but it is fantastic practice to keep that core nice and stable. And switch. Good, keep it going, guys. And switch. We got one more, chain. Go one more on each side, switch. Right arm, left leg. 
Stay out. And switch. Last one. Right leg, left arm. And relax. Fantastic, guys. All right. Last one we're going to do is a bicycle. All right. This is also a little bit of a play off of that crunch. All right. But we're adding some more rotation into it this time. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to be on your back. All right. And what we're going to do, this one also takes some coordination. This is fantastic for you athletes out here. All right. Legs are out straight. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up right elbow to left knee. All right. And once we do that cross and touch, all right. And then we're coming up with the other one, cross and touch. All right, trying to extend that leg out. You notice his opposite leg is extended out, but not touching the ground. All right, if you want to make, if you can make it a little bit easier for yourself, all right, um, if you need it, all right, you can put your foot on the ground each time, but we'd love to see that hover, all right, that space in between your foot and the ground, all right? So going for a bicycle, we're going 20 seconds to start. All right, make sure your shoulder gets all the way up off the ground. All right, you're really reaching the touch and make sure you engage that core. You will feel it, all right, very quickly if you were doing that, okay? All right, so we're going for 20 seconds. You ready? And go. You can kind of pick your speed on this. Chain's a little bit quicker than some. That's fine. You can slow it down a little bit. You can make it even faster as long as you're keeping it under control. All right, and we're keeping that core engaged. All right, we're gonna be doing fantastic on this exercise. All right, five more seconds, almost there. Keep it moving, full extension of that leg and relax. All right, we're gonna do it one more time on that. Okay, make sure you stay breathing. Okay, that's Chan's biggest problem usually, guys. So he likes to hold his breath. And then he runs out because it gets the end of the core exercise. All right, <laughs> we need to make sure that we are breathing this entire time because your oxygen's your oxygen, your muscles run off of oxygen. Okay, so we need that oxygen. All right, let's do it again. All right, same thing. Good bicycle. Need an elbow ready and go. Twenty seconds, guys. Full rotation from those uh, shoulders. Fantastic motion. Elbow to knee. Good. Almost there, guys, we're almost there. Keep breathing, keep that sh shoulders up off the ground. Full rotation, three, two, one, and relax. Fantastic job, guys. All right, go ahead, grab some water, take some deep breaths, all right? Make sure you stretch out your stomach a little bit, okay? And we're gonna move on to our final drill, all right? It's going to be, uh, this one's not gonna be as hard. This is not gonna be a fantastic workout on this last one. What we wanna do is show you guys, all right, some fantastic, um, technique for your first step and these are uh we're gonna show you four um techniques for your first step um today one's gonna be staggered stance um really just to get the point across of how we uh leave okay um and then we're gonna go ready position and then uh sideways or lateral positions um there's two different moves for that one okay so this is gonna be somewhat easy all right i'm gonna put it So guys, you don't need a whole lot of space for these. Like I said, we're working on first step here. Back up a little bit. All right, we're working on first step here, but we're gonna focus on is what your feet do when you leave, okay? Um, I had a lot of athletes to do incorrect movement when they leave, so we're gonna go over, again, posture body control on this, all right? And as it um, relates, all right, to what we're doing here, okay? So, first one we're gonna do is a staggered stance. Jay, go ahead and show us a staggered stance. That's one foot in front, one foot behind, all right? You look maybe like a wide receiver about to leave, right? Um, maybe a track runner, all right? If they're a little more long distance, all right? But this is not something you will always find in a game, all right, but this helps you guys understand exactly what we need to do when we leave, all right? We're gonna go over two main things, two main things only. One is lean. We wanna lean towards where we wanna go. So Chan's got a good acceleration lean here, leaning over his front foot. And two is uh, pressing in the opposite direction, or force in the opposite direction. So he's pushing that way to push in this way. We went over this on Tuesday during our linear speed or acceleration drill, all right? But this also comes down to lateral movement as well. So we're gonna start with that stagger position. Everybody get in that stagger position. All right, all I wanna do is a couple feet, right? We're going maybe tops 10 feet right here. All right, we're just trying to get through that second cone quick, pushing backwards and leaving forward, okay? Leaning forward, sorry. All right, leaning over that front leg real quick. If your left leg's in front, right arm's in front. All right, ready? Nice and low, and go! All the way through, good, okay? So, when we get that motion, remember pushing 
backwards with that foot and leaning forward, but keeping that good posture that we just worked on during that core. Chan, come on back. All right, we're gonna do the same thing one more time, guys. All right, Chan, start with his left foot in front. This time he's gonna start with his right foot in front. It is absolutely essential that you guys practice both. We should be ambidextrous with our legs. Everything should be done with both legs, all right, so that we have uh, that skill when it comes time to need it. Ready, leaning forward, pushing backwards, ready. Go, pushing off, good speed through, okay? So we get a lot of that power backwards, we lean forwards, we're gonna be efficient, okay? So that's what we're gonna do on this next one. All right, but now we're going to, all right, is a ready position, okay? So this time, Chan is gonna start with both feet even. All right, if you guys remember, what is the width? Shoulder width, right? We wanna go outside of the shoulders to the outside of the feet. So if you guys look at me, all right, I am shoulders to the outside of the feet. That's as wide as we wanna go. If you're out here, you're gonna end up pushing outwards and it's gonna push you side to side. We wanna push, so we're going straight forward right now, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we call a power step and a drive step. All right, show him the power step first, Chan. All right, it's small. Notice his toe is right where his heel just was. It's not a big motion. But what we see now is that now his shin has the ability to push backwards because it has, all right, that angle on it, all right? If you guys are here, right, and just pushing off for the first couple milliseconds there, it's just you pushing down, which is gonna push you up. We want to be able to push forward. You don't want to wait for gravity before you can push forward. We want to get into it quickly. Okay, so quick power step. All right, and then the second move is a drive step. So power step here. Other foot is going to drive forward for that first step. Okay, so power step, drive step. Keep that lean forward, all right, and get out of there quickly, okay? So let's try it out. Ready, position. Quick power step, quick drive step. Ready, go. Push off and drive out. Okay, same thing again. Come on back over here, Chan. All right, so again, guys, small step, okay? So if we're taking a big step here, that leg is straight now, I'm not able to push very far, but if that leg is close when I take that step, I'm able to actually push myself forward a lot more in one step instead of waiting for the next step. All right, nice and low again. Guys, real quick, quick tip. If you're having trouble, if you're somebody who takes too big of a step and you notice that, put something about a one foot length behind you, all right, so that it tells you if you take too far of a step back, okay? Nice and small step, ready, and go. Good, driving forward. All right, he's got a good lean, and pushing backwards on each one, all right? This time, guys, we're gonna do the same thing, all right? Chain's been using his right foot. This time, he's gonna go to his left foot. Again, we want to make sure that we're using both legs to learn this stuff, all right? If we're only using one leg, then you can only use one leg when it comes to a game, okay? You wanna use both legs in training. Ready, nice and low. Good push off that left leg now. Right leg driving forward, ready, and go. Good, fantastic move, okay? Now, kind of like what Chan went over with arm drill the other day, all right? What we really wanna see is when we drive up, the opposite arm is up, right? So if we're here and we're taking a power step back with the left foot, all right, right leg is driving forward, we should see this arm come up and this arm drive back. It's gonna help us get more power, more speed out of this leg drive, okay? All right, back on that cone, Chan. Ready position, nice and low, all right? Good squat position, ready. And go, small step, good drive step out of there, okay? Now guys, we're gonna go over to this time, all right, is some lateral movement, all right? So what Chan's gonna do is he's gonna start facing you guys, but he's gonna move in that direction. Now, like I said, there are two different things to do here, all right, and this is what comes back to what we were using earlier in our shuffle and crossover drill, all right? First one is going to be that same power step, drive step that we used before, all right? And that is pushing off the back foot, driving forward with the front foot now, all right? All we're doing is adding a turn into it and pointing that drive step in a different direction, pointing that power step in a different direction. So it's still a small back movement. So think about your ready position, okay? A little wide there, Chan, a little bit, a little bit farther there, perfect, all right? Everything is vertical right now. He cannot push out right now because both of his shins are facing down. There's no way to push out instead, it, unless he's gonna use his outside muscles, right? We need to be able to apply pressure hard. So that is that reposition of that outside foot to push hard. Inside leg is going to drive where we want to go, okay? So everybody in that position, nice and low, good ready position. Push hard with that outside foot, inside leg driving out, ready. And go, push hard and drive, fantastic job. 
Again, guys, if you're a little lost on that chain, come back real quick and do that in a little bit slower motion for me. All right, good ready position, small back step, inside leg drives out, ready and go, back forward, okay? So we wanna get quickly into that position. One great thing the chain does, all right, and that you guys should be doing as well, is helping the upper body turn, all right, is driving that left arm. So he's going to the left right now. The left arm is gonna drive back to help that body turn a little bit better. Go ahead, come back, chin. One more time from that side, guys, nice and low. Small back step, all right, front leg drives forward, ready, and go out hard good so guys make sure that you practice that all right and we're gonna practice that on both sides as well okay so we're gonna come on back we're gonna go to the last one and that is a crossover a lateral crossover first step and that's what we were kind of talking about earlier is this time instead of getting power from that back leg to push us all right we're gonna get power from a leg that's already a little bit closer to our uh, target all right so from here get in this ready position all right, if you are either too wide or vertical, what you can do is a small instep with that leg to get some of that shin angle so that we can push in that direction. Again, if your shin is angled straight down, you're pushing up. Your angle, your shin is angled back, you're gonna be pushing in that direction. So we wanna see you starting right here. All right, we're gonna get a small reposition and then push off of this leg as we drive this leg across and we can get out a little bit quicker and get into that turn a little bit quicker, okay? So Chan's going to do that small instep, back leg drives over and turn into that sprint. Guys, everybody ready? Nice low position. Ready and go. Push and go, good. I want they chained it a little bit wrong right there. All right, so he went up a little bit. Okay, we wanna make sure we lean and we don't come up into our sprint. All right, we wanna lean into the sprint, okay? So we're leaning hard to the left over the top of that leg, okay? All right, good ready position again, guys. All right, small reposition of that front leg. All right, and then driving that back leg across. Ready, and go. Good, fantastic. So, last one, okay, practicing that cross step. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, guys, at home. Make sure after this, you practice this more times, all right? And do it on both legs, all right? And practice this movement, okay? But another great thing that, that Chan does is he leads with his knees, all right? And that's what's gonna help us get that shin angle. We cross over with that knee, and we're pushing back. That knee stays in front the whole time. We get that angle backwards with the shin, all right? And then those knees punch, 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 all right? So that your feet can drive, drive, drive backwards, all right? So one more time, Chan, all right? Small reposition with the left foot. Back knee drives over. Get out of there fast. Ready? And go! Push hard and sprint. Fantastic job. All right, guys. Quick sip of water. All right? And we got to get our cool down in, okay? So grab that sip of water real quick. All right? We'll get our quick cool down, all right? So what we're going to do today, all right, is we're going to work a little bit of hip mobility, okay? This hip mobility is going to help us, all right, um, increase our depth, okay? Or, or decrease our height even, right? So every time you get into a cut, all right, being able to get low is very important. I worked with a football player recently who had trouble getting low into his cut, so we did a lot of hip mobility, all right, and now he's very low and changed his direction very efficiently because his hips are able to get to that depth. All right, if you have trouble sitting low, right, and getting low into that squat, all right, with ease, then you're not gonna be very efficient quick in and out of that um, low hip position. So what we're gonna do is feet are gonna be shoulder width apart, like we've been practicing all day. We're gonna start by stretching out the hamstrings a little bit, all right, so keep those legs straight, and we're coming down the legs nice and slow, all right, and getting that good hamstring stretch in the back. Knees are locked out, all right, and we wanna reach as far as we can, all right? This is where we stress the importance of flexibility and being able to stretch our muscles a lot. All right, now this time, what we're gonna do is thumbs going back, grabbing the ankle, we're squatting down, keeping the elbows on the insides of the knees, and you're slowly coming down. Now, this is where you need to start paying attention to your feet. If you just drop down to here and your heels came up and your toes came out, then you are not getting any kind of mobility for your hips. We wanna make sure those feet stay straight, heels stay on the ground, all right? And you're going down as far as you can while keeping that position, all right? If you come down too far and it starts moving again, just come up, reposition those feet to where they need to be, and then come back down into it, all right? Once you're at the bottom, you're nice and snug. Some of you guys have been waiting there. All right, we're gonna press out a little bit on the knees, all right, and try to sit down a little bit lower. We're gonna start coming up, looking up in front of us. 
We're going to get a little bit of thoracic mobility by bringing our hands up above us as high as you can. And then we're going to slowly stand to the top and you feel a little bit of that release, okay? So sitting down into that, we're getting that great knee mobility or hip mobility and being able to get the um, hips down low, okay? So we're going one more time with that. Jane, go ahead and bring it out to the middle. I'm going to kind of point out some stuff on you for me. All right, so feet shoulder width apart. All right, we can start with that hamstring stretch again. All right, nice and low. We get to the bottom, kind of relax. You guys notice that? Chan's knees aren't locked up. Come on, all the way. Chan's got to work on his flexibility a little bit more. All right, go ahead and squatting down. Elbows on the insides of the knees. Good, bringing it down until you can stop. All right, like I said, Chan's mobility is a lot better than most. So you shouldn't, you probably won't be getting to this depth, right? But great place to be, all right? Get as low as you can without moving those feet. I'm pressing out slightly on the knees. Get a little bit lower if you can, all right? Go ahead and look up. Hands up as high as you can. And stand nice and slow. Three, two, one. Fantastic job. Guys, thank you guys so much. Hopefully you guys are feeling good. You're feeling a little bit faster after that. All right, hopefully that agility, right, will pick up a little bit. So I need you guys to practice this stuff at home. All right, and make sure these kinds of reps are, are in your workouts, okay? Now, that being said, um, we appreciate it. We will see you guys on Saturday. Um, make sure you go check out our YouTube. We have all of our episodes on there, so go on there, and you'll find all the kind of stuff that you might want to learn all right, about your athleticism to improve it, okay? Um, we also have new workouts coming out on our website, all right? Um, new online workouts that have more advancements, more equipment, that kind of thing. We want to know what you guys have at home, all right, so that we can give you guys more workouts to do, okay? So, other than that, um, thank you guys so much. 